The Liberal Democrats often referred to as the Lib Dems is a liberal British political party formed in 1988 from a merger of the Liberal Party and the Social Democratic Party SDP, a splinter group from the Labour Party which had formed the SDP Liberal Alliance from 1981. At the 2010 general election, the Lib Dems led by Nick Clegg won 57 seats, making them the third largest party in the House of Commons behind the Conservatives with 306 and Labour with 258. With no party having an overall majority, the party formed a coalition government with the Conservatives, with Clegg becoming Deputy Prime Minister and others taking up ministerial positions. At the 2015 general election, the Liberal Democrats were reduced to eight MPs and became the fourth largest party in the House of Commons, behind the SNP, leading to Nick Clegg's resignation. At the 2017 general election, the party returned 12 MPs, becoming the third largest UK wide party in terms of votes cast. Sir Vince Cable succeeded Tim Farron as party leader. The party is a member of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe and Liberal International. Topic: History. Topic: Founding. The Liberal Democrats were formed on 3 March 1988 by a merger between the Liberal Party and the Social Democratic Party, which had formed a pact nearly seven years earlier as the SDP Liberal Alliance. The Liberal Party, founded in 1859, were descended from the Whigs, Radicals and Peelites, while the SDP were a party created in 1981 by former Labour Party members, MPs and cabinet ministers, but also gained defections from the Conservative Party, having declined to third-party status after the rise of the Labour Party from 1918 and especially during the 1920s. The Liberals were challenged for this position in the 1980s when a group of Labour MPs broke away and established the Social Democratic Party. SDP. The SDP and the Liberals realized that there was no space for two political parties of the center and entered into the SDP Liberal Alliance so that they would not stand against each other in elections. The alliance was led by David Steele Liberal and Roy Jenkins SDP. Jenkins was replaced by David Owen. The two parties had their own policies and emphases, but produced a joint manifesto for the 1983 and 1987 general elections. Following disappointing results in the 1987 election, Steele proposed to merge the two parties. Although opposed by Owen, it was supported by a majority of members of both parties, and they formally merged in March 1988, with Steele and Robert McLennan who had become SDP leader in August 1987 as joint interim leaders. The new party was initially named Social and Liberal Democrats SLD, with the unofficial short form The Democrats being used from September 1988. The name was subsequently changed to Liberal Democrats in October 1989, which is frequently shortened to Lib Dems. The new party logo, the Bird of Liberty, was adopted in 1989. The minority of the SDP who rejected the merger remained under Owen's leadership in a rump SDP. The minority of the Liberal Party divided, with some retiring from politics immediately and others led by former Liberal MP Michael Meadowcroft creating a new Liberal Party that claimed to be the continuation of the Liberal Party which had just dissolved itself. Michael Meadowcroft eventually joined the Liberal Democrats in 2007 but some of his former followers continue still as the Liberal Party, most notably in a couple of electoral wards of the cities of Liverpool and Peterborough. Topic Ashdown 1988 The then-serving Liberal MP Paddy Ashdown was elected leader in July 1988. At the 1989 European elections, the party received only 6% of the vote, putting them in fourth place after the Green Party. They failed to gain a single member of the European Parliament at this election. Over the next three years, the party recovered under Ashdown's leadership. They performed better at the 1990 local elections and in by elections, including at Eastbourne in 1990, and Ribble Valley and Concordon and Deeside in 1991. The Lib Dems did not reach the share of national votes in the 1990s that the alliance had achieved in the 1980s. 
At their first election in 1992, which ended in a fourth successive conservative win, they won 17.8% of the vote and 20 seats. In the 1994 European elections, the party gained its first two members of European Parliament, following the election of Tony Blair as Labour leader in July 1994 after the death of his predecessor John Smith. Ashdown pursued cooperation between the two parties because he wanted to form a coalition government should the next general election end without any party having an overall majority. This Lib Lab pact failed to form because Labour's massive majority after the 1997 general election made it an irrelevance for Labour, and because Labour were not prepared to consider the introduction of proportional representation and other Lib Dem conditions. The election was, however, something of a turning point for the Liberal Democrats. They took a smaller share of the vote than at the previous election, but they managed to more than double their representation in Parliament, winning 46 seats, through tactical voting and concentrating resources in winnable seats. <laughs> Kennedy 1999 Ashdown retired as leader in 1999 and the party elected Charles Kennedy as his replacement. The party improved on their 1997 results at the 2001 general election, increasing their number of seats to 52 and their share of the vote to 18.3%. Liberal Democrat candidates won support from former Labour and Conservative voters due to the Lib Dems' position on issues that appealed to those on the left and the right, opposition to the war in Iraq and support for civil liberties, electoral reform, and open government. Charles Kennedy expressed his goal to replace the Conservatives as the official opposition. The Spectator awarded him the Parliamentarian of the Year award in November 2004 for his position on the war. The party won seats from Labour in by elections in Brent East in 2003 and Leicester South in 2004, and narrowly missed taking others in Birmingham Hodge Hill and Hartlepool. Under Kennedy's leadership, the majority of pro Euro Conservatives, a group of former members of the Conservatives, joined the Liberal Democrats on 10 December 2001. At the 2005 general election, the Lib Dems gained their highest share of the vote since the SDP Liberal Alliance and won 62 seats. Many had anticipated that this election would be the Lib Dems' breakthrough at Westminster. Party activists hoped to better the 25% support of the 1983 election, or to reach 100 MPs. Much of the apparent lack of success resulted from the first past the post electoral system. The party got 22% of the votes nationally but only 10% of the seats in the Commons. Controversy became associated with the campaign when it became known that Michael Brown had donated £2.4 million to the Liberal Democrats. Brown, who lived in Majorca, Spain at the time, was charged in June 2008 with fraud and money laundering and subsequently jumped bail and fled the country. In November 2008 he was convicted in his absence of thefts amounting to £36 million and sentenced to seven years imprisonment. The 2005 election figures revealed a trend of the Lib Dems replacing the Conservatives as Labour's main opponents in urban areas. Many gains came in previously Labour-held urban constituencies for example, Manchester Withington, Cardiff Central, Birmingham Yardley, many of which the Conservatives had held in the 1980s, and Lib Dem aspirants had over 100 second-place finishes behind Labour candidates. The British electoral system makes it hard for the Conservatives to form a government without winning some city seats outside its rural heartlands, such as the Lib Dem Bristol West constituency, where the Conservatives came third in 2005 after holding the seat until 1997. In a statement on 5 January 2006, Charles Kennedy admitted to a long battle with alcoholism and announced a leadership election in which he intended to stand for re election, while Sir Menzies Campbell took over as acting leader. For several years, rumours had alleged that Kennedy had problems with alcohol. The BBC's Nick Robinson called it, Westminster's worst kept secret. Kennedy had on previous occasions denied these rumors, and some suggested that he had deliberately misled the public and his party. <laughs> Campbell 2006-2007 Kennedy had planned to stand as a candidate, but he withdrew from the election citing a lack of support among Lib Dem MPs. Sir Menzies Campbell subsequently won the contest, defeating Chris Hoon and Simon Hughes, among others, in a very controversial race. Mark Oten withdrew from the contest because of revelations about visits to male prostitutes. 
Simon Hughes came under attack regarding his sexuality while Chris Hoon was accused live on Daily Politics of attempting to rig polls. Despite the negative press over Kennedy's departure, the leaderless party won the Dunfermline and West Fife by election over Labour in February 2006. This result was viewed as a particular blow for Gordon Brown, who lives in the constituency, represented the adjacent seat, and featured in Labour's campaign. The party also came second place by 633 votes in the Bromley and Chislehurst by-election, threatening the safe Conservative seat and pushing Labour into fourth place behind the UK Independence Party. In July 2007, Sir Menzies announced that the party wished to cut the basic rate of income tax from 20 to 16p per pound, the lowest rate since 1916, and wanted to finance the cut using green taxes and other revenues, including making gains from UK properties owned by non-UK residents eligible for capital gains tax. Opinion poll trends during Campbell's leadership showed support for the Lib Dems decline to less than 20%. Campbell resigned on 15 October 2007, and Vince Cable became acting leader until a leadership election could be held. Cable was praised during his tenure for his performances at Prime Minister's questions over the Northern Rock crisis, HMRC's loss of child benefit data, and the 2007 Labour Party donation scandal. Topic: <laughs> Clegg 2007 to 2015. On 18 December 2007 Nick Clegg won the leadership election, becoming the party's fourth leader. Clegg won the leadership with a majority of 511 votes over his opponent Chris Hoon, in a poll of party members. Clegg was the Member of Parliament for Sheffield Hallam until 2017, and was in MEP for the East Midlands from 1999 to 2004. In his acceptance speech, Clegg declared that he was a liberal by temperament, by instinct and by upbringing and that he believed, Britain is a place of tolerance and pluralism. He claimed that his priorities were defending civil liberties, devolving the running of public services to parents, pupils and patients, and protecting the environment, and that he wanted to forge a liberal alternative to the discredited policies of big government. He also proposed a target to double the number of Lib Dem MPs within two elections, and before the 2008 local elections confirmed that he was pleased with their performance in the polls. Shortly after the election Clegg reshuffled the party's frontbench team, making Hoon the replacement Home Affairs spokesperson, Ed Davey the Foreign Affairs spokesperson, and keeping Vince Cable as Shadow Chancellor. His predecessors were also given roles, Campbell joined the All-Party Commons Foreign Affairs Select Committee, and Kennedy campaigned nationwide on European issues, as president of the European Movement UK. Clegg became Deputy Prime Minister to David Cameron, leader of the Conservative Party, in a 2010 coalition agreement that placed a centre-right government at the helm of the United Kingdom. Political commentators identified Clegg's leadership as promoting a shift to the radical centre in the Liberal Democrats, bringing more emphasis to the economically liberal side of social liberalism. In coalition government with the Conservatives 2010 After the first of three general election debates on 15 April 2010, a Comrades poll put the Liberal Democrats on 24%. On 20 April, a YouGov poll put the Liberal Democrats on 34%, the Conservatives on 33%, and Labour on 28%. In the general election held on 6 May 2010, the Liberal Democrats won 23% of the vote and 57 seats in the House of Commons. The election returned a hung parliament with no party having an absolute majority. Negotiations between the Lib Dems and the two main parties occurred in the following days. David Cameron became Prime Minister on the 11th of May after Gordon Brown's resignation and the Liberal Democrats formed a coalition government with the Conservative Party, with Nick Clegg as Deputy Prime Minister and other Liberal Democrats in the Cabinet. Three quarters of the Liberal Democrats' manifesto pledges went into the programme for government. Of the 57 Liberal Democrat MPs, only two refused to support the Conservative Coalition Agreement, with former leader Charles Kennedy and Manchester Withington MP John Leach both rebelling. After joining the coalition poll ratings for the party fell, particularly following the government's support for raising the cap on tuition fees with Liberal Democrat MPs voting 27 for, 21 against and 8 abstaining. 
Shortly after the 2015 general election, Liberal Democrat leadership contender Norman Lamb conceded that Clegg's broken pledge on university tuition had proven costly. On 8 December 2010, the eve of a vote on the raising of the cap on tuition fees in the United Kingdom to £9,000, an opinion poll conducted by YouGov recorded voting intention figures of Conservatives 41%, Labour 41%, other parties 11%, and Liberal Democrats 8%, the lowest level of support recorded for the Liberal Democrats in any opinion poll since September 1990. In the Oldham East and Saddleworth by-election, 2011 held on 13 January 2011, the Liberal Democrats gained 31.9% of the vote, a 0.3% increase despite losing to Labour. In a by-election in the South Yorkshire constituency of Barnsley in March 2011, the Liberal Democrats fell from second place at the general election to sixth, with the candidate Dominic Carman, losing his deposit. In council elections held on 5 May 2011, the Liberal Democrats suffered heavy defeats in the Midlands, North and Scotland. They also lost heavily in the Welsh Assembly and Scottish Parliament, where several candidates lost their deposits. According to The Guardian, they lost control of Sheffield Council, the city of Clegg's constituency, were ousted from Liverpool, Hull and Stockport, and lost every Manchester seat they stood in. Overall, they got their lowest share of the vote in three decades." Clegg admitted that the party had taken "...big knocks." Due to a perception that the coalition government had returned to the Thatcherism of the 1980s, as part of the deal that formed the coalition, it was agreed to hold a referendum on the alternative vote, in which the Conservatives would campaign for first past the post and the Liberal Democrats for alternative vote. The referendum, held on 5 May 2011, resulted in first past the post being chosen over alternative vote by approximately two thirds of voters. In May 2011, Clegg revealed plans to make the House of Lords a mainly elected chamber, limiting the number of peers to 300, 80% of whom would be elected, with a third of that 80% being elected every five years by single transferable vote. In August 2012, Clegg announced that attempts to reform the House of Lords would be abandoned due to opposition for the proposals by backbench Conservative MPs. Claiming the coalition agreement had been broken, Clegg stated that Liberal Democrat MPs would no longer support changes to the House of Commons boundaries for the 2015 general election. The Lib Dem Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change Chris Hoon in 2011 announced plans for having UK carbon emissions by 2025 as part of the Green Deal, which was in the 2010 Liberal Democrat Manifesto. In council elections held on 3 May 2012, the Lib Dems lost more than 300 councillors, leaving them with fewer than 3,000 for the first time in the party's history. In June 2012, it was reported that membership of the party had fallen by around 20%, along with falling poll numbers since joining the coalition. On 20 September 2012 Clegg personally apologized for breaking his pledge not to raise university tuition fees. On 28 February 2013, the party won a by-election in Eastleigh, the Hampshire constituency that had previously been held by the former minister, Chris Hoon. The party's candidate, Mike Thornton, had been a local councillor for the party, and held the seat. In 18 other by-elections held throughout the 2010-15 Parliament, the party lost its deposit in 11. In the Rochester and Stroud by-election held on 20 November 2014, it came fifth polling 349 votes or 0.9% of the total votes cast. This was both the worst result in the history of the party, and of any governing party. In local elections held on the 22nd of May 2014, the Liberal Democrats lost another 307 council seats and 10 of their 11 seats in the European Parliament in the 2014 European elections. Despite Clegg's efforts at triangulation, the Liberal Democrats experienced its worst ever showing in the 2015 general election, losing 48 seats in the House of Commons, leaving them with only eight MPs. Prominent Liberal Democrat MPs who lost their seats included former leader Charles Kennedy, former deputy leaders Vince Cable and Simon Hughes, and several cabinet ministers. The party held on to just eight constituencies in Great Britain, with only one in Scotland, one in Wales and six in England. The Liberal Democrats' erstwhile coalition partner, Cameron's Conservatives, won an outright majority, negating the need for them to accommodate the smaller party in government. On 8 May 2015, Clegg announced his resignation as party leader. Topic: <laughs> Farron 2015 to 2017. 
Membership of the Liberal Democrats rose from 45,000 to 61,000 as the party prepared to hold its 2015 party leadership ballot. On 16 July 2015, Tim Farron was elected to the leadership of the party with 56.5% of the vote, beating opponent Norman Lamb. On 29 July, Farron unveiled his frontbench team, with Tom Brake MP taking on Foreign Affairs, Alistair Carmichael MP Home Affairs, Susan Kramer Economics, and Judith Jolly representing Defense. In the May 2016 local elections, the Liberal Democrats gained a small number of council seats, though they lost ground in the National Assembly for Wales. The party campaigned for a Remain vote in the referendum on United Kingdom membership of the European Union in June 2016. After the Leave vote, the Liberal Democrats sought to mobilize the 48% who voted Remain, and the party's membership rose again, reaching 80,000 by September. On 1 December 2016, the Liberal Democrats won its first by election gain in ten years when Sarah Olney won a seat in Richmond Park previously held by the Conservative MP Zach Goldsmith, who had resigned and was contesting the election as an independent. The main theme of the party's campaign was opposition to the manner of the government opting for a hard Brexit in leaving the European Union. In the 2017 snap general election, the Liberal Democrats had an overall vote share of 7.4%, down 0.5% from 2015. Nevertheless, the party gained a net of four seats from the last election, taking their seat total to 12. The party recaptured several of its former strongholds. Sir Vince Cable was elected in Twickenham, with a majority of 9,762 votes and a swing of 14.7%. Despite making some gains compared to the previous general election, former party leader Nick Clegg lost Sheffield Hallam to Jared O'Mara of the Labour Party, and Zach Goldsmith of the Conservatives regained Richmond Park from Sarah Olney with a very narrow majority of 45 votes. Party membership exceeded 100,000 during the campaign. On 14 June, following the election, Farron announced his intention to stand down as leader of the Liberal Democrats. <coughs> Cable 2017 -present. Sir Vince Cable was elected unopposed to the leadership of the party on 20 July 2017 following Farron's resignation. Before his election, Cable argued for an exit from Brexit, calling for a second referendum on the UK's relationship with the European Union. Ideology The ideology of the Liberal Democrats draws from liberal ideas. The party is in favour of reform of traditional British institutions such as the Church of England, a change in the electoral system from first past the post to proportional representation, and drug decriminalisation. The Liberal Democrats supported the adoption of the Euro and greater European integration. In recent years the adoption of the Euro hasn't been on their agenda, with no mention of it in their 2017 manifesto. Internal factions Within the Liberal Democrats, the two main ideological strands are social liberals and classical liberals, the latter supporting economic liberalism. The principal difference between the two is that the classical liberals tend to support greater choice and competition and aim to increase social mobility through economic deregulation and creation of opportunity, whereas the social liberals are more commonly associated with directly aiming to increase equality of outcome through state intervention. Classical liberals tend to favor cutting taxes for the poorest in order to increase opportunity, contrasting with social liberals who would rather see higher spending on public services and the disadvantaged in order to reduce income inequality. The strand of social liberalism in the party is influenced by William Beveridge, who is credited with drafting further advancements of the welfare state, and economist John Maynard Keynes. In 2009, social liberals founded the Social Liberal Forum, a pressure group within the party, to pursue social liberal policies. Notable social liberals in the Liberal Democrats include Tim Farron, David Steele, Patty Ashdown, Menzies Campbell, Charles Kennedy, and Simon Hughes. The party has also been described as having a social democratic wing, identified with 
Party figures including Kennedy, Ashdown and Campbell, with current leader Vince Cable self-identifying himself as a social democrat Kennedy and Cable had been members of the SDP before the merger. In 2004 members of the classical and economic liberal strand contributed to the Orange Book, which contained social market economy policies and was seen as an attempt to move the party towards the center ground. Notable economic liberals include Nick Clegg, David Laws and Jeremy Brown, a group which has since been referred to as the Orange Book Liberals. On 13 February 2012, those welcoming social liberalism while advocating the equal importance of economic liberalism, founded liberal reform. The group opposes what it regards as illiberal policies and abuses of power, such as detention without trial, while advocating employee share ownership, tax cuts for those on low and middle incomes, the right of citizens to freedom of information, and of their right to personal privacy. Policies The party supports constitutional and electoral reform, progressive taxation, environmentalism, human rights laws, banking reform and civil liberties. Schools in England Pupil premium of £2.5 billion given to head teachers, aimed at disadvantaged children, which could allow average primary school to cut class size to 20 pupils. £488 per child on free school meals, is given to schools on top of their main funding. Total pupil premium funding for 2011-12 is £625 million and was due to rise to £2.5 billion a year by 2014-15. Workplace scheme for 800,000 pupils to give them the opportunity to gain skills and experience. £1 billion of new funding will provide opportunities including job subsidies, apprenticeships and work experience placements for 500,000 unemployed people. The government will subsidize 160,000 workplaces by providing £2,275 to any private sector business willing to hire an unemployed person aged 18 to 24 years old. The party wants to phase out religious discrimination in faith school admissions and employment within six years. It also supports the repeal of compulsory collective worship in schools. They have called for the repeal of the Greenwich Judgment, which prevents local authorities from prioritizing their own residents in school admissions policies. They have been credited with the introduction of the 50% rule which requires new faith academies to allocate at least half of their places without reference to faith when oversubscribed. Health in England Cut size of the Department of Health by half, abolishing or cutting budgets of quangos, scrapping strategic health authorities and seeking to limit pay of top NHS managers to below level of Prime Minister. Three quarters of health quangos have already been axed, and plans have been announced to scrap strategic health authorities. Scrap Labour's personal care at home and divert cash to give one week's respite for one million carers. Over £400 million available in additional funding over coalition period to the hundreds of thousands of carers who work over 50 hours a week. 1p income tax rise on all income tax bans to fund the NHS an extra £6 billion a year. Justice Bill announced which will regulate CCTV, end the collection of DNA from innocent citizens, scrap ID cards and the children's contact database, end control orders, reduce the maximum pre-charge detention period under that act from 28 to 14 days, outlaw wheel clamping on private land, and enable those with convictions for consensual sexual relations between men aged 16 or over which have since been decriminalized to apply to have them disregarded. Scrap police and crime commissioners and replace them with police boards made up of local councillors in order to save money. Introduce a legal, regulated market for cannabis. Allow single-purpose, licensed stores to sell cannabis to those aged 18 years old and above, with a new regulator to oversee the market. Also allow home cultivation for personal use and small-scale licensed cannabis social clubs. Introduce specialist drugs courts and non-criminal punishments to focus on the rehabilitation of those with addictions. 
Give victims of crime a right to review what progress police have made to investigate the crime committed against them including cases where the police have declined to investigate. Strengthen the realistic prospect of custody test to reduce the use of remand for suspected offenders who can be safely monitored in the community and are unlikely to receive a prison sentence if found guilty. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Foreign Policy At a Lib Dem conference in 2015, considered an early test of the leadership of Tim Farron, Lib Dem activists voted against a scrap trident motion. Following the conference, a spokesperson for the Lib Dems said, There has been much discussion about how quickly, safely and efficiently Britain can reduce its nuclear capability. The party will now look into the options for the future of Britain's nuclear deterrent. Tim Farron believes Britain should be stepping down the nuclear ladder and doing so in conjunction with our NATO allies around the world. A full judicial inquiry into allegations of British complicity in torture and state kidnapping. The Liberal Democrats have also successfully accomplished prohibiting British companies from selling chemicals abroad where it is known that they may be used in carrying out the death penalty. <laughs> European integration The Liberal Democrats have been strongly in favour of European integration. The party maintains a strong and positive commitment to the European Union. The Liberal Democrats and its predecessors, the SDP Liberal Alliance, have been consistently in favour of British EU membership, with the Liberal Party originally proposing membership into the predecessor European Coal and Steel Community. However, the Liberal Democrats oppose the European federalism espoused by their counterparts. In June 2016, following the United Kingdom European Union membership referendum, in which 51.9% of those voting voted in favour of leaving the European Union, Tim Farron stated that if Liberal Democrats were to be elected in the next parliamentary election, they would not follow through with triggering Article 50 of the Treaty on European Union and leaving the EU. Any member state may decide to withdraw from the Union in accordance with its own constitutional requirements, but would instead keep UK part of the EU. Following this promise, the Liberal Democrats claim that their membership has increased by 10,000 since the referendum. At one point, the growth in the party was the equivalent of one person joining per minute. Campaigning for a second referendum regarding the exact goals of Brexit negotiation is currently one of the party's flagship policies. Electoral reform The Liberal Democrats have been described by the new statesmen as "...unsparing in their criticism of the unfairness of first past the post," and are fully committed to electoral reform, including alternative vote and proportional representation. It is considered one of their most popular policies, and described by the new statesmen as "...one policy with which the Liberal Democrats are identified in the minds of the public." Environment Designate an ecologically coherent network of marine protected areas with appropriate management by 2020. Encourage the uptake of water metering, including introducing metering in all defined water stressed areas by 2025, coupled with the development of national social tariffs to protect low-income households. Complete the coastal path, introduce a fuller right to roam and a new designation of national nature parks to protect up to a million acres of accessible green space valued by local communities. <laughs> <laughs> Electoral results <laughs> General elections In the 1992 general election the Lib Dems succeeded the SDP Liberal Alliance as the third most popular party, behind Labour and the Conservatives. Their popularity never rose to the levels attained by the Alliance, but in later years their seat count rose far above the Alliance's peak, a feat that has been credited to more intelligent targeting of vulnerable seats. 
The vote percentage for the alliance in 1987 and the Lib Dems in 2005 is similar, yet the Lib Dems won 62 seats to the alliance's 22. The first past the post electoral system used in UK general elections is not suited to parties whose vote is evenly divided across the country, resulting in those parties achieving a lower proportion of seats in the Commons than their proportion of the popular vote. See table and graph. The Lib Dems and their Liberal and SDP predecessors have suffered especially, particularly in the 1980s when their electoral support was greatest while the disparity between the votes and the number of MPs returned to Parliament was significantly large. The increase in their number of seats in 1997, 2001 and 2005 was attributed to the weakness of the Conservatives and the success of their election strategist Chris Renard. Lib Dems state that they want three party politics in the Commons. The most realistic chance of power with first past the post is for the party to be the kingmakers in a hung parliament. Party leaders often set out their terms for forming a coalition in such an event. Nick Clegg stated in 2008 that the policy for the 2010 general election was to reform elections, parties, and parliament in a constitutional convention. Local elections The party had control of 31 councils in 2008, having held 29 councils prior to the 2008 election. In the 2008 local elections they gained 25% of the vote, placing them ahead of Labour and increasing their control by 34 to more than 4,200 council seats—21% of the total number of seats. In council elections held in May 2011, the Liberal Democrats suffered heavy defeats in the Midlands, North and Scotland. They also lost heavily in the Welsh Assembly and Scottish Parliament. In local elections held in May 2012, the Lib Dems lost more than 300 councillors, leaving them with fewer than 3,000 for the first time in the party's history. In the 2013 local elections, they lost more councillors. In the 2014 local elections they lost over 300 councillors and the control of two local governments. In the 2016 local elections, the number of Liberal Democrat councillors increased for the first time since they went into coalition in 2010. The party won 43 seats and increased its vote share by 4%. A number of former MPs who lost their seats in 2015 won council seats in 2016, including former Manchester Withington MP John Leach who won 53% of the vote in a traditionally safe Labour seat. Leach's win was hailed as «historic», signifying the first gain for any party in Manchester other than Labour for the first time in six years, and provided the city's majority Labour administration with its first opposition for two years. Cheadle's former MP Mark Hunter also won a seat on Stockport Council. <inaudible> <inaudible> European elections The party has generally not performed as well in elections to the European Parliament. In the 2004 local elections their share of the vote was 29%, placing them second, ahead of Labour and 14.9% in the simultaneous European Parliament elections putting them in fourth place behind the UK Independence Party. The results of the 2009 European elections were similar with the party achieving a vote of 28% in the county council elections yet achieving only 13.7% in the Europeans despite the elections taking place on the same day. The 2009 elections did however see the party gain one seat from UKIP in the East Midlands region taking the number of representatives in the parliament up to 11. In 2014 the party lost 10 seats, leaving them with one MEP. In Europe, the party sits with the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe ALDE political group, which favours further strengthening the EU. The group's leader for seven and a half years was the South West England MEP Graham Watson, who was also the first Liberal Democrat to be elected to the European Parliament when he won the Old Somerset and North Devon constituency in 1994. The group's current leader is the former Prime Minister of Belgium Guy Verhofstadt. <laughs> <laughs> Scottish Parliament elections The first elections for the Scottish Parliament were held in 1999 and resulted in the Liberal Democrats forming a coalition government with Labour from its establishment until 2007. The Liberal Democrat leader Jim Wallace became Deputy First Minister, a role he continued until his retirement as party leader in 2005. 
The new leader of the party, Nicol Stephen, then took on the role of Deputy First Minister until the election of 2007. For the first three Scottish Parliament elections, the Lib Dems maintained a consistent number of MSPs. From the 17 elected in 1999, they retained this number in 2003 and went down 1 to 16 in 2007. However, this fell to only five seats after the 2011 election as a result of the widespread unpopularity of their coalition with the Conservative Party at the UK level. The leader of the Scottish Liberal Democrats is the MSP for North East Fife, Willie Rennie, who took up his role in 2011. Topic Welsh Assembly elections The first elections to the newly created National Assembly for Wales were in 1999. The Liberal Democrats took six seats in the inaugural Assembly. Welsh Labour won a plurality of seats, but without an overall majority. In October 2000, following a series of close votes, the parties formed a coalition, with the Liberal Democrat leader in the Assembly, Michael German, becoming the Deputy First Minister. The deal lasted until the 2003 election, when Labour won enough seats to be able to govern outright. The party had polled consistently in the first four elections to the National Assembly, returning six representatives in the first three elections and five in the 2011 election, thereby establishing itself as the fourth party in Wales behind Labour, the Conservatives, and Plaid Cymru, but fell to just one seat in 2016. Between 2008 and 2016, the leader of the Welsh Liberal Democrats was Kirsty Williams, the Assembly member for Brecon and Radnorshire, the Assembly's first female party leader. <laughs> <laughs> Structure The Liberal Democrats are a federal party of the parties of England, Scotland, and Wales. The English and Scottish parties are further split into regions. The parliamentary parties of the House of Commons, the House of Lords, the Scottish Parliament and Welsh Assembly form semi-autonomous units within the party. The leaders in the House of Commons and the Scottish Parliament are the leaders of the Federal Party and the Scottish Party, the leaders in the other two chambers, and the officers of all parliamentary parties, are elected from their own number. Coordination of all party activities across all federated groups is undertaken through the Federal Board. Chaired by the party leader, its 30-plus members includes representatives from each of the groups and democratically elected representatives. The Lib Dems had 65,038 members at the end of 2010 and in the first quarter of 2008, the party received £1.1 million in donations and have total borrowings and unused credit facilities of £1.1 million. The total debt figure reported by the Electoral Commission includes, for example, unused overdraft facilities. This compares to Labour's £3.1 million in donations and £17.8 million of borrowing, credit facilities, and the Conservatives' £5.7 million in donations and £12.1 million of borrowing, credit facilities, specified associated organisations review and input policies, representing groups including, ethnic minorities EMLD, women WLD, the LGBT community LGBT plus Liberal Democrats, youth and students Young Liberals, Engineers and Scientists Aldis, Parliamentary Candidates PCA, and Local Councillors Others can become associated organizations AOs, as pressure groups in the party, such as the Green Liberal Democrats GLD, Liberal Reform, Liberal Democrats Online, the Liberal Democrat European Group LDEG, and the Liberal Democrat Disability Association. The National Union of Liberal Clubs NULC represents liberal social clubs which encourages recreational institutions where the promotion of the party can take place. Like the Conservatives, the Lib Dems organise in Northern Ireland, though they do not contest elections in the province, they work with the Alliance Party of Northern Ireland, de facto agreeing to support the alliance in elections. There is a separate local party operating in Northern Ireland, the Northern Ireland Liberal Democrats. Several individuals, including Alliance Party leader David Ford, hold membership of both parties. Alliance members of the House of Lords take the Lib Dem whip on non-Northern Ireland issues, and the Alliance Party used to have a stall at Lib Dem party conferences. It is also a sister party of the Liberal Party of Gibraltar and contests the South West England constituency at European parliamentary elections on a joint ticket with them taking place six on the party list. The party is a member of Liberal International and the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe party, and their one MEP sits in the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe ALDE group in the European Parliament.
Topic: Membership figures. Membership fluctuated between 1988 and 2000 between a low of 69,000 in 2000 and a peak of 101,768 in 1994. Membership increased sharply after the confirmation on 18 April 2017 of the 8 June 2017 general election, again surpassing 100,000 on 24 April 2017. Federal Conference Topic Leadership Topic Leaders One joint interim leader, as leader of the Liberal Party before the merger. Two joint interim leader, as leader of the Social Democratic Party before the merger. Three acting leader between the resignation of Charles Kennedy on 7 January 2006 and his own election on 2 March 2006. Four acting leader between the resignation of Menzies Campbell on 15 October 2007 and the election of Nick Clegg on 18 December 2007. Deputy leaders Russell Johnston, 1988–92 Alan Beath, 1992–2003 Sir Menzies Campbell, 2003–06 Vince Cable, 2006–10 Simon Hughes, 2010–14 Sir Malcolm Bruce, 2014–2015 Office not in use, 2015 to 2017. Joe Swinson, 2017. Topic: Party presidents. Also see President of the Liberal Democrats. Presidents chair the federal board. They are elected for a two-year term, starting on the 1st of January and ending on the 31st of December. They may serve a maximum of two terms. Sir Ian Rigglesworth, 1988–90 Charles Kennedy, 1991–94 Robert McLennan, 1995–98 Diana Maddock, Baroness Maddock, 1999–2000 Navnet Dolakia, Baron Dolakia, 2001–04 Simon Hughes, 2005–08 Rose Scott, Baroness Scott of Needham Market, 2009–10 Tim Farron, 2011-14 Sal Brinton, Baroness Brinton, 2015 <inaudible> <inaudible> Leaders in the House of Lords Leaders in the European Parliament Graham Watson, 1994–2002 President of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe Party Diana Wallace, 2002–04 Chris Davies, 2004–06 Diana Wallace, 2006–07 Vice President of the European Parliament Andrew Duff, 2007–09 Fiona Hall, 2009–14 Catherine Bearder, 2014 The Liberal Democrats did not have representation in the European Parliament prior to 1994. <laughs> <laughs> Chairs of the English Liberal Democrats Paul Farthing 1994 Don Davidson 2004 Stan Collins 2004 Brian Orell, 2007 to 2010. Jonathan Davies, 2010 to 2012. Peter Ellis, 2012 to 2015. Steve Jarvis, 2015 to 2017. Liz Lefman, 2017 present. Topic: <laughs> Leaders of the Scottish Liberal Democrats. Malcolm Bruce, the 3rd of March 1988 to the 18th of April 1992. 
Jim Wallace, the 18th of April 1992 to the 23rd of June 2005. Nicole Stephen, the 27th of June 2005 to the 2nd of July 2008. Tavish Scott, the 26th of August 2008 to the 7th of May 2011. Willie Rennie, the 17th of May 2011 present. Topic: <laughs> Leaders of the Welsh Liberal Democrats. Richard Livesey, 1988 to 1992. Alex Carlyle, 1992 to 1997. Richard Livesey, 1997 to 2001. Lembit Opic, 2001 to 2007. Mike German, 2007 2008. Kirsty Williams, 2008 to 2016. Mark Williams, 2016 2017. Kirsty Williams, acting, 2017. Jane Dodds, 2017. Topic: <laughs> Current elected MPs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> See also. Glee Club, British politics. Leader of the Liberal Democrats. Liberal Democrat Federal Conference Liberal Reform Liberalism by Country Liberalism in the United Kingdom List of Liberal Democrat MPs List of Liberal Theorists List of UK Liberal Party General Election Manifestos Lloyd George Society Politics of the United Kingdom Social Liberal Forum The Land Song. <laughs>